Hello, my name is Alison Monaghan from happysoul.com. Today I'm going to show you a short visual on how to use EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, or tapping. So what we need to do is we need to identify what it is that we're actually working on. And we do that by set, saying a statement whilst tapping the side of the hand here. For example, it may be a headache. So we'd be saying, even though I have this headache, and try and be specific at what the headache's like. So even though I've got this headache and it's a tight band around my head, I love and accept myself anyway. And we say this statement twice. Then we go to the reminder phases. And this is keeping you tuned in, telling your body what you're working on. And you start with the top of the head, and that's a short phrase, which is something like this headache. And then the eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, the collarbone and under the arm. And remember at each point it's a small phrase that represents what the issue is. So you've done one round of tapping, take a big breath in, let it go, notice how you're feeling. Actually before you even begin you can jot down out of 10 how strong that feeling or that emotion or that pain is, 10 being really bad and 0 being nothing. A good idea to do this so you can keep a check of how you're going. So check in with your number after one round of tapping. Notice if you've got any um, results, if you've got any relief. If you've got a little bit, just keep going. Keep going around the points within. You can say things like this remaining headache, this remaining headache, I choose to let it go now. This remaining headache, this tight band around my head, I'm letting it go now. And tapping all around the points. A big breath in again. And let it go. Okay, there's a couple of things here. With some people who are beginning to tap, they're thinking, well, why on earth would I want to accept a headache? And I'm not sure I love myself either. So when we say these things and we get even more resistance, that's okay because the magic of tapping is whilst we're tapping around these meridians on our body and there's resistance in the energy system, the tapping starts to let that go as well. So it's very hard to let our problems go, whether they're physical or emotional, when we're attached to them. So that's why we have this mantra about loving and accepting ourselves even though we have the problem. Because more and more we understand that until we actually can accept what's going on, it's very hard to move on and heal. So the other thing is about uh, loving ourselves, that's another tough one, uh, as well as accepting ourselves. So once again, if you're feeling very resistant to loving yourself, you've had a background of saying it's not right to love yourself, it's selfish, or somebody's told you that you're not lovable, all sorts of things can start to come up when you say this statement. Be open-minded if you can, go with the process. I'd like to encourage you that more and more if you tap, you'll get great results and you'll get an accumulative effect of starting to just feel more grounded in yourself, loving yourself and accepting yourself more. So that's it from me today. That's the simple way to tap. Have fun with it. Do be careful. I don't advise that you tap on anything big on yourself when you're learning to tap. Find a practitioner or a friend who's familiar with tapping. And if you have any more questions, then you can contact me at happysoul.com and I also offer a free 15-minute Skype consultation, and you can see the details here. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.